are 1032 Village of Siren versus Philip Ambling. Appearances are we do have Mr. Ambling appearing in person without counsel. We have um, the Village of Siren appearing through attorney Adam Benson. We're set here today in this matter for a refusal hearing. Off the record, Mr. Benson informed the court that this matter is proceeding. Mr. Benson, uh, you may call your first witness. Call uh, Officer Tanner Pardon, Your Honor. Camera recording started. Hi, my name is Tanner. I work with the Siren Police Department. You know why I stopped you? Well, I, the light turned amber, sir. And I it was one of those where do I go or stop? And it, or, I was close to the stop sign. You were not close at all. I when I, sure. I was sitting at the stoplight and it turned green and I was about to pull out when you okay, shot past okay, me. Tanner, okay. Whatever you want to do, I'm, um, I'm sorry if I probably ran it, but I didn't think it was. Okay. At, at that moment. Okay. So, okay. I live right around the corner. Okay. I've been a resident here in Simon for a long time. Okay. And I normally wouldn't do that, but I'm tired. I just went through surgery. Okay. And so, I apologize. Okay. Sounds good. Do you have a driver's license for me? Yes, sir. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to grab that from you. Sure. Where are you coming from? I came from Lewis. I have friends. I had dinner with them. Gotcha. Where were you eating dinner at? Um, at, at uh, right next to the VFW. Okay. What restaurant is there? Is it a restaurant or a bar? Or? With some friends. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Do you have insurance on the car? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Can I see that? Sure. Don't be too harsh on me, please. <laughs> I, really. I've had a bad week. <laughs> What'd you have in, uh, surgery on? I have a pacemaker. Okay. Put in eight days ago. Gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> Perfect. How much did you have to drink at dinner? I had three beers. Okay. How long were you there for? Um, let's see. We met in the afternoon. We watched a football game. There's that for you. Probably been there for four hours. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. Sit tight for me. I'll be right back with you, okay? <laughs> trying to get a hold of me. 10-4, checking your status. I'm 10-2, I have a Wisconsin 27 moon ready. 10-4, go ahead. Mm. It's gonna be the registered owner, Philip. Check for prior OWIs.
Delta 451. Good. No priors for OWI, Minnesota or Wisconsin. You want to hop out and come talk to me back here for a second? I mean, what is this all about, really? That's why I want to talk to you back here. I just came out of surgery and I can't really fucking move. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So, here's where we're at, all right? So your eyes, I'm going to explain this to you, okay? Right. So, okay. running the red light, your I eyes are bloodshot. The it your, was amber. Your okay. eyes are bloodshot and glossy. I can smell alcohol, I and you said you were drinking. You Correct. So those are the four reasons why I'm going to ask you, would you like to run through field sobriety tests for me? That's say I cannot do it. Okay. Because I, I'm on meds right now, heavy meds. Okay. For my surgery. Okay. If you want to lift the wound and see where, what I'm talking no, about. No, I believe you. I believe you. So okay. I, I'm, not, I'm refusing to do that. Okay. Okay. Are you supposed so, to be drinking with your meds? No. Okay, so why are you drinking with your meds? After 10 days of being hospitalized and really going through a lot of misery, I went out with my friends. I had dinner with them. I had three beers. Okay. I should not have done that. Okay. But I, I'm telling you the truth. Okay. I am. Okay. I'm just, but, at this point, I'm concerned that you're impaired and you're not okay to drive. I'm okay to drive. I live, I live two blocks from here. Well, I understand that, but you're driving from down in Polk County. No. Okay. Well, yeah, I was. It's like <laughs> yeah. It is, it is close, but... Uh, it's cheapest. it is in Polk County and it's still a drive and you still have to be on a public roadway, right? Would you give me a break, please? So I need a break. I can't. You, I, I'm telling you, it's my job. It's literally my job to make that, sure people are okay to drive. You understand the condition I'm in. Please. I do. I do understand. But you have to understand that just because you have something happen doesn't mean you can break the law. I did break the law. You just told me you were with supposed to be yellow, driving with your yellow. meds and drinking. Well, that's not Because meds and drinking. Okay, all right. Right? Do what you got to do with me. So. Okay? Put me in prison. I don't care. Oh, we're not going to put you in prison. Okay? Do you want to blow into a breath test? No. Okay. So at this point, I'll put the handcuffs in front of you. So it's a lot easier. Oh, don't do so that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the jail. Okay? Listen. Please don't you've do never, that. You've never had an OWI, correct? You've never been arrested for drunk no, driving? No, Correct. No, ne so, never. so I'm gonna explain this to you, okay? No, please don't do this. I'm gonna explain I it to you. I need to get home and get my meds, okay? If you take let me, me home, will you take me home, take me upstairs? Let, let me, me explain do that this to you. The jail. Let me explain this to you, okay? So what's gonna happen is we're gonna go up to the jail, we're gonna do a breath test, and you're gonna get out. You don't have to pay anything, you don't sit in jail, nothing, okay? Will you take me home and let me get my meds first? I can't do that. You, we, we go I, in my yard, get, I can't, go upstairs, and I'll go I can't do that. You. It will. I'm telling you, to. you're putting me in a health problem here. You are. And I'm telling you I'm that not, right now. I'm not. I'm doing my job. I'm telling you, you are. Okay. So, <coughs> you're okay to drive down to Polk County. You're okay to drink when you're on your meds and you're not supposed to. You're okay to drive. But as soon as you get caught, now it's an issue. No. I'm not saying that to you. That's I'm what not. you did say. You put more than ten two. All right, you're under arrest for OWI. Okay. Are you kidding me? Yep. No, nope. I'm, I'm dead serious. Okay, I will. I will nope. consent to what you just said. I will. It's too late at this Don't point. Don't do this, please. 
Too late oh at this God. point. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't need this. Holy crap. Okay. So we're going to go up to the jail. My car, Give me your other hand. I won't tow it. I'll leave it here. I'm not going to. you promise? Promise. I'll lock yeah, it up I'm for you, okay? That. Okay. All right. Anything in your pockets? Anything in your okay. pockets going to poke me, stick me, or stab me? Well, I wish you wouldn't drink and drive, but sometimes we do things that we're not supposed to do. Um, I'm, I'm stumbling because I have a bad handicap knee to it. That's I'm fine. You can't drive, right? That's fine. What's this? Uh, just something to rub my knee with, okay? It's nothing. It's nothing. I have to massage my knee. I have an what is it? I have an arthritic knee. It's just a um. It's a pencil sharpener. Don't no, don't grab it out of my hands. It's just a um handkerchief wrapped around this, and I massage my knee with it. I've never seen that before. Well, Did you make that? No, actually, my doctor told me to do that. Okay. The orthopedic guy told me to do that. Okay. And so that's what I use it for. Okay. Okay. That's fine. There's nothing in there. Yeah, I can see there's that nothing there's nothing in there. in there. I was just taking a look at it because I've never seen anything like that before. I don't know why you'd be Miss Harsh on me. I'll see you on me. What's that? I don't know why you'd be Miss Harsh on me. Because you're not following the law. I have odor of intoxicants. I have driving I have, behavior. I told you I have bears. Yep. Absolutely. Driving behavior. Uh -huh. Admittance of alcohol. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In your refused fields. So that's why we're at that's where we're at this point. God. Um, okay. Do you smoke? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I do. I'm gonna put this back in your pocket, okay? Okay, that'd be fine. That's fine. Got suspenders on there. Alright, got them wall by himself. Four or five one, I'm ten ninety five. Alright, we're gonna come this way. Oh, my car. Yep. I'll shut your car off and lock it up for you. We're going to go on this side. <coughs> I have a bag in this here. Okay. Ten four. Nope. Back seat. Do you want the bag or? Because you're going to be out. Bag. You're going to be out in not too I, long. I have a couple of nuts in there. Okay. Sounds good. And, uh, and my keys and the dog are all in there. Okay. Now, Sounds I'm good. Gonna carry off the I'm going to have a hard time getting my left knee up. All right. I'll help you here, okay? No, I, I can try and lift you, you there. If you want to try and sit down in the seat, and then we'll scooch okay. you that all way. Right. Okay. Yeah. I got Where's your keys at? They're on the bag that's on the seat. Okay. They're attached to it. Okay. I went to your church today and, and, and bought some stuff for the holidays. Nothing open. Okay. Sounds good. I didn't see anything there. I'm just checking. I'm just going to look in here. Sure. Make sure there's no drugs or anything before we get to the jail. Uh, could be some, uh, uh, pills. Oh, that's fine. As long as there's no, like, uh, no, like bad. I don't think so. Good, good. You just got to check and make sure. It's not though. Yep. Four or five more. Four or five more. 
1095, one male, 76 year location. Uh, that's my friend calling me to be sure I got on my way. So I was like, I don't even know. Hold up. Oh, that's good. Yep, my phone just gone. So when you get to jail, if you like, respond to her. Okay. Everything on dash cam. Okay. So you can see the green light that okay. I have in front of me, and then you can right. see me go past on the red light. Okay. Or you can see you go past in the red light. Okay. So if you want to argue that, you'll have your time in court to argue that. Okay. But right now is not that time. understand that. I would also like to be in bed, but we're not. What's, What's that? What's, What's that? I'm having a hard time hearing you. What are you saying? I understand that, but that doesn't mean people don't make mistakes. Four five one at Code Ten. Four five one Code Ten twenty two eight. Oh, my God. 
I understand. Okay. Right. Big I'm step up, there. I'm up. Perfect. All right. Good. You want to carry that stuff yeah, in? I'll okay. Yeah. Here's your wallet. Too. Dude, you keep me on. Um, till we get into the jail, and then we can take them off. It's just, it's not my policy. It's the jail policy. Right. So we'll go in this door right here. Right. The this whole thing's under construction, so. Yeah. Sit against this thing here. Right. You hop on that elevator right there. He's got something to rub his knee with and a lighter in the one pocket. Do you have my other pair up here as well? Philip, it was not an issue for you until you got arrested. I said it was not an issue for you until you got arrested. This process will take approximately 25 to 30 minutes and you will be out. Thank you. 
What what time are you supposed to take your meds, Philip? Uh, at, at nine o'clock. I'm at, at okay, well it is ten thirty right now. Why were you at the bar if you had to take your meds at nine o'clock? <laughs> Why were you drinking at your friend's house if you had to take your meds at nine? Okay. So why is it an issue now? Tell you what, you talk to Okay. Philip, you can come over here. I got some questions for you. Sure. All right. So, <clears throat> state of Wisconsin requires me to read this to you, okay? I'm not a criminal. I know. Yeah, I understand that, okay? So, did you understand what I was telling you on the side of the road? So, this is your first OWI ever, which means... I've never had one. Right. This is your... You've never had one before. I'm 32 so, years old, okay? Correct. I've been driving since I was 16. Are you going to let me explain this to sure, you? Go ahead. Yeah, man. Okay. Okay. This whole process is going to take probably a half hour and you'll be home, okay? It's not criminal. It's just a traffic citation in Wisconsin. Okay. Do you understand that? You. No, I don't follow you. Okay. Then you listen to this. For an OWI. It's not criminal. Correct. And we get OWI is pretty serious in this state. Your first OWI is not criminal in Wisconsin. Okay. I'm going to read this to you. Listen to you. Okay. Okay. I can't explain this to you. State of Wisconsin just makes me read this word for word to you. Okay. Under Wisconsin's implied consent law, I am required to read this notice to you. You have either been arrested for an offense that involves driving or operating a motor vehicle while under the influence of alcohol or drugs, or both, or you are the operator of a vehicle that was involved in an accident that caused the death of, great bodily harm to, or substantial bodily harm to a person, or you are suspected of driving or being on duty time with respect to a commercial motor vehicle after consuming an intoxicating beverage. This law enforcement agency now wants to test one or more samples of your breath, blood, or urine to determine the concentration of alcohol or drugs in your system. If any test shows more alcohol in your system than the law permits while driving, your operating pr privilege will be suspended. If you refuse to take any tests at this agency request, your operating privilege will be revoked and you will be subject to other penalties. The test results or the fact that you refuse testing can be used against you in court. If you take all the requested tests, you may choose to take further tests. You may take the alternative tests that this law enforcement agency provides free of charge. You also may have a test conducted by a qualified person of your choice at your expense. You, however, will have to make your own arrangements for that test. If you have a commercial driver's license or were operating a commercial motor vehicle, other consequences may result from a positive test results or from refusing testing such as being placed out of service or disqualified. In addition, your operating privileges will also be suspended if a detectable amount of restricted controlled substance is in your blood. Will you submit to an evidentiary chemical test of your breath? Um, with everything I've got inside of me right now, the drugs I'm taking, I'm not going to pass anything. My urine test is going to be really bad. I didn't ask to test your urine. You just read it. Did you hear what I read? I yeah, said, I did. will you submit to an evidentiary chemical test okay, of your fine. breath? Your breath. Fine. I don't want your urine. I don't want your blood. I want your breath. Fine. So is that a yes or a no? It is completely up to you. What, what are the consequences if I say no? I, like I said, I can't explain that to you. Okay, I'll say no. Okay. Okay. All right, so here's where we're at at this point. Since it's your first OWI. How do you determine that I'm drunk? How do you 
Or W I are these operating while intoxicated. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Since it's your first, I can just write you a refusal. If I wanted to be a dick, I could write a warrant for your blood and drive you to Grantsburg to the hospital, draw your blood, and bring you back I'm not here. Calling you a dick. I understand that, but you've been arguing with me the entire night. So if I wanted to be a dick, I'll write a warrant and I'll bring you to Grantsburg. Have you ever seen a recording about since you picked me up? You I'm could be. I'm recording. I'm trying to I have a body cam on. I'm trying to talk to you as a human being. Okay? Correct. You so what I'm going to do. Do your job okay. Doing. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write you the refusal. I'm not gonna bring you to Grantsburg for the blood draw. Okay. 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 Thank you. Are we good? I'm good. I respect you as a person as well. Okay. Thank you. Now these people here are gonna go through some a process with you, and then you're gonna be cut loose. Okay. Take me back to my car. No. You're not going to tow my car. You told me you wouldn't. I'm not towing your car. Your car is still there. <laughs> but I'm not going to give you a ride no. after the process we just went through. It's. I am not required to give you a ride back to your car after you just did something. So illegal. I better get home. Call somebody. I have no to call. Okay. You don't have anybody to call? No. My sister's gone. My wife is dead. She just died. Okay. I have a friend, but for crap's sake. Put me in jail. We're not going to put you in jail. This what? isn't jailable. I just told you it's not criminal. I don't have to put I you in jail. Get my car in. I live right around the corner from where I'll tell you what. If you're cooperative from now on, from here on out, and you don't argue, and you're not being like you are, then I'll give you a ride. Okay. Bye. Okay? Okay. Agreed. You guys are up. You can call Tracy. Tracy will? Yes, she will. Okay, well, it's yes, 10 It's ten thirty at night, and I'm not calling the sheriff. Okay, all right. So. I'm just saying, she would pick me up. Okay. She's a friend. Okay. That does not matter to me. I know that doesn't matter. That doesn't mean a thing up. to me, because you're... I have a friend. Correct. Give me a ride home. Correct. Do you have a P.O. box? Yes, I do. 212. 100%. They might ask you to blow into a breathalyzer. That's for their records. It has nothing to do with me. I won't even know. And it's not used against you in court at all. So, just I was just going to throw that out there. So, all right. You're up. When you're done, just have them come get me and I'll give you a ride back to your car. Oh, I'll give you a ride home. I'm not going to bring you back um, to your car. Okay. Okay? Because I don't want you driving. Okay. Don't fuck with me. Yeah. 
What was going on? I heard him like piping up in the back, but your radio yeah. was really bad. He's fucking... Well, maybe I should call Trace. Camera recording started. Oh, what I wanted to ask you is that how serious is this? Is, can this be? I can't afford to lose my voice. Like I, like I said, OWI first is not criminal. You, I know you don't want to believe me, but I'm not gonna lie no. to you. It's not criminal. It's just a traffic citation. That's why the court date isn't even mandatory. Okay. If you want to contest it, there's a court date and a time on top. You refuse all my requests for testing. I did. So that's where the um, notice of intent to revoke your license comes from. Okay. Now, the one thing I'm going to ask you is, I know I did not tell you that I was wrong. I positive I did. Okay. I may have told you that um, I'm on meds. Okay. And I might not act very sensible. Okay. But I'm, I definitely did not admit to Okay. Like I said. So that you and I hit our together on that. Okay. Like I said, okay. my body cam was on. Everything was recorded. Good. From the minute I turned my lights on until, obviously, it's still going right now. Okay. Right. So. Okay. Good. So I have no um, ill feelings about you or what you did. You're doing your job. I appreciate you it. You need good police work around here. I've lived here in this county since 1981. Hmm. And, um. I'm not a trauma. No, I hear you. I've never run into you before, and that's a good thing. Okay. So, right. okay. Like Thank I said, you, like I said, we all make mistakes. I'm not saying you made a mistake. I'm not saying you didn't make a mistake. Okay. I'm saying we're all one decision away that's from that's right. doing something. Um, so. I need to find somebody to get me to my car because I can't walk that far. Right. Uh, I'll find somebody. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Great. Um, like I said, call your friend or whatever I'll tomorrow. Talk. Maybe okay. she can come get Great. you. Okay. Thank you. Great. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. And uh, where did you train to become a police officer? Um, I was down at Northwood Technical College in Rice Lake. Okay. And as part of that training, um, did you receive any training as a concerned persons operating while intoxicated? Yes. Okay. Um, were you on duty December 23rd, 2023 at approximately 10 p.m.? I was. And where were you at? I was at the stop lights and siren. Okay. And that's in the village of Siren? Yes. Burnett County, Wisconsin? Yep. And uh, what did you observe, officer? I observed um, a vehicle run the red light in front of me. Okay. Um, can you tell us what kind of vehicle it was? It was a white Cadillac. I do not remember the model. Okay. Um, and then when you saw the vehicle run the red light, uh, did you pull that vehicle over? Yes. And who was driving that vehicle? Uh, Philip Ambling. Okay. And uh, what did you observe, officer? I observed uh, um, a vehicle run the red light in front of me. Okay. Um, can you tell us what kind of vehicle it was? It was a white Cadillac. I do not remember the model. Okay. Um, and then when you saw the vehicle run the red light, uh, did you pull that vehicle over? Yes. And who was driving that vehicle? Uh, Philip Ambling. Okay. Um, Mr. Ambling, um, it's now going to be your opportunity. You can ask questions to the officer okay. on what you um, would okay. like to do uh, with regards to the incident and with what you would like to elicit from him in testimony. Okay. I understand. You want me up there? No, you can just ask him questions. Okay, here. very good. Um, he said I ran a red light. The light was amber. And I knew that I had right objection. Now, He's testifying, Your Honor. Um, okay. I am sustaining the objection. And Mr. Ambling, right now, you can have an opportunity to testify too and to tell me anything that you want and any kind of narrative form. 
But right now, it's simply for you to ask questions to the officer, like that okay. would involve yes, no, or a small okay. little uh, answer. Uh, officer Cargan, when you pulled me over, I rolled down the window. You asked me for a proof of insurance and my driver's license, which I gave to you. Objection. Yes. He's testifying again, Your Honor. Well, maybe he's going to say, okay. is that correct? Okay. Sorry. Am I going to be harassed by him through this whole um, thing? Well, it, here's the thing. That's his job is to object or not object or say things because in a hearing, the court has to follow things called rules of evidence. Okay. Well, I don't know what those are, Your Honor. So I'll, no. I'll try to. And so the court is able to be more lenient with people who don't have attorneys such as yourself, but I can't like tell you the law. I can't tell you how to do that as a job or how to, I can't instruct you on what to do. But Mr. Benson does have the right to object to things that are not being okay. done properly. But, okay. and that's why, I, that's why if you noticed that when Mr. Benson said, well, I object. And I said, well, he could have said, is that correct? And then that would have been a question and that would have been proper and fine. Okay. So you can ask those things or however you were doing, but it has to be a question form to the officer. And then again, you will be, have the ability to tell me anything that you want about that night in any way or form. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, is it correct that when you asked me about taking a um, sobriety uh, test that I said I had been on some very serious um, me medications and that I wouldn't pass it. Is that yes. correct? And I told you I had three barriers within a period of six hours of time at the VFW in Lewis. Did I not tell you that? That's incorrect. Pardon me? That's incorrect. I didn't hear the answer. He said that's incorrect. What did I say? You you asked him, is it is it correct that I told you that I had three beers within a period of six hours? I believe you said at the VFW or at the VFW. Yes, I may VFW. not have mentioned the period of time, but I had not had any for two hours before I left. And again, you're testifying. The, right now, you can only okay. ask him questions. And right now, the officer stated that that's not correct. You okay. that you told him that. Is it correct that I told you I lived two blocks away from where you pulled me over? Yes. And I needed to get home and take my medications. Yes. And I, I told you that you said I'm not going to tow your car. I leave it parked right on the street. I'm on duty. I have a watch. Correct? Can you repeat that? I didn't even hear that either. Can you bring the microphone more to your, sure. your mouth and uh, speak more directly so I, into it? I, he said, I'm not going to tow your car, but we can leave it on the street because I'm on duty all night. And I'll watch it for you. I said, okay, fine. Uh, not that I was not able to. And again, questions to the officer. Can I question the attorney? No. Okay, he, sta he stated that it was 10 o'clock at night. It was not 10 o'clock at night. Is it that was, a question? It's a statement. It was 7.30, Your Honor. You can't testify right now. If that's a question, it would need to be in the form of a question. You can say, all right, you stated that it was at 10 o'clock that night. Are you sure that that's correct? Are you sure it wasn't 7.30 that night? Those. That's how you would bring about questioning a witness. Okay? okay. That's as much instruction as I can provide though. Uh, is it not correct? It was seven 30 at night and not 10 o'clock. At what point where you were sitting at the intersection when I went through it? I don't recall. It's in my report. I'd have to look. Okay. Do you have your report with you? I do. Please look at your report, refresh your recollection. Once your recollection is refreshed, please turn your report back over and down on the table and then respond. It was 10 o'clock at night, approximately 10 o'clock. Any other questions? No, I, I had proof that it was seven. Well, you're going to be able to, okay. to testify as well. I'm just embarrassing myself with this line question because I don't understand your honor. Okay. So I'll bypass it and go to whatever the next step is here. Okay. 
Do you have other questions, Mr. Benson? I do not, Your Honor. Thank you. You may step down. Thank you. Okay. Now, Mr. Ambling, this is going to be your opportunity to provide me any information, any testimony that you want, just like you were trying to get out when you were questioning the officer. Okay. Mr. Benson will then have an opportunity to question you. Okay. And then you would need to answer his questions. Okay. Okay. I'll, okay. Mr. Benson, are you okay with him sitting right there? Or would you prefer him up here in the witness stand? Sitting there is fine, Your Honor. He's Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, God. So help me, God. All I right. do. You may begin. Okay. I was at the BFW with some friends on that uh, Sunday. What BFW? In Lewis. Okay. And we were watching the uh, Pittsburgh Cincinnati football game together. And the game ended at about six o'clock. And during the course of the game from two to six, I had three, perhaps four beers. I'm not sure. But I have people that can testify to the fact that that's what I had. So for the last two hours, I... I just want to let you know, I don't know if you understand what this hearing is about. This hearing is not the trial or it's not the uh, okay, case to determine okay. if you actually okay. are guilty of an OWI. This is with regards to whether or not you had a right to refuse okay. to do the tests. Okay. Okay. Then I'll remove, I'll, I'll move on to, but I'm fine. If you want to give me information. Okay. I'm going to move on to this part in the uh, information that I got from the court. And it says, whether you refuse to permit the test, you shall not be considered to have refused the test. If it is shown by a preponderance of evidence that the refusal was due to a physical inability to submit to the test due to a physical disability or disease unrelated to the use of alcohol, controlled substances, controlled substance, analogs. I'm just going to tell I know what the law says. Okay, well, I'm, I'm using that because that was my case. I was on three different painkillers. And, you know, Mr. Ambling, I'm going to let you know that I understand that as it relates to the field sobriety testing, though, the walk and the all of those. I forget the, the horizontal gaze, all of those things. Um, I can't even pronounce some of them, the nystagmus, those things. Um, that relates to those parts. But then there are two different things here. He's talking about not only the field sobrieties, but also the PBT, that breathalyzer. That's another mm -hmm. one. Okay. Okay. So, and so you're saying that you were highly medicated. And so, and you know the law, you have the law in front of you. So, now provide me testimony and information why you believe you fit that exception, okay? Because I was on uh, tramadol, uh, prednisone, anti antibiotics, and Tylenol 3. I do need, I know, I'm just saying you're here without an attorney and you're saying things in a refusal hearing and I need to give you a warning that everything that you tell me here okay. can be used against you. I'm only you. going to tell the truth. No, and I, I want you to tell the truth, but everything that you say here okay. in this hearing, it's all being recorded and taken down for okay. a transcript. All right. It's fine. And it all can be used against you at future hearings. So I need to provide you that warning. Okay. 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 All right. So I told the officer at that point that I was willing to submit to a um, to any other testing that he he asked me to do. Or he didn't ask me. I said I, I would submit myself to a, a urine test or any, anything else that he needed. And he said, I don't need that right now. To my recollection. Okay. Am I doing okay? Yes. So, so at that point, um, he ordered me out of the car. And took me to jail. Okay. And I'm just going to go over a little bit. Like, Officer Pardon testified that he asked you about the field sobriety. You informed him about certain things. You refused to do field sobriety. And then he asked you about doing the PBT, the breathalyzer, okay, blowing in the little machine. Um, anything you want to? Talk about that. You don't have to. No, I will. I will. I remember what I said to him. I said, I won't pass it. I know what kind of medications I'm on, and I will not pass it. And it, it will not work out for me. That's what I said. 
Do you under do you know what a PBT, what a breathalyzer is? Well, I'm, I've known people that have had them. I've never had to take one before. All right. Anything else you want me to know? Yeah. I just think all, all the way everything was handled by him was not right. And the fact that it was. So what do you think that he didn't do correctly? Well, I've lived in the county for 42 years. I have no tra had no traffic violations, DWIs. I'm thinking he could have given me a little bit of a break because he thought I ran a red light. I wasn't speeding. The speed limit was 30 miles an hour. And when I got to it, I, I probably could have safely braked down and stopped. But that split second, I decided I'm going to go through. And I knew he was sitting there with the only two vehicles in the intersection. Anything else you want yes. to let me know? Yes. One of the real reasons I'm here, Your Honor, is that two days later, I had some friends call me up and said, Phil, what, what went on? I said, in regards to what? I told them I got picked up and going through uh, the lights at 3570. He said, no, you were with a, you were, he's got you down for being drunk and you were with a, a minor. I said, what? What are you talking about? So they give me the paper. I'm just going to say you can't rely on what's stated in the paper. Well, I'll tell you what people it's read. That I say lots of things and I don't. It's, it's in the Bernard County bookings. Okay. And and it says Philip H. Hambling, 82, 7, OWR with minor child and vehicle. Now, what, what do people think when they read something like that? I totally understand that. And that's a, this is a, that's a totally different, different matter. And that's not here because I don't have you. That's not the ticket that I have that you're issued to. That's an issue that you have to take up with the paper, okay? Because the paper incorrectly cited. Who gave me the information? They get it themselves. They, I'm going to tell you, Mr. Ambling, they say that I love puppies. I hate puppies. I love bears. I hate bears. They say that I love men. I hate men. They say that I love chickens and I hate chickens and all of these things. They don't know. Papers don't come to court. They don't listen. They don't talk. They don't ask. They get their well, stuff okay. by just getting their stuff. How does he, do you think it makes me feel to see that about myself in a paper being incorrect and untrue? And friends asking me about it because they believe what they read. So, Mr. Ambling, your issue with that is with the paper. Okay. But here today, we're here on your refusal hearing and why okay. you refuse to take the, okay. the necessary sobriety tests. Okay. 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 But I, I understand, and I'm sure everybody in here understands the issue with what was cited there. But I'm looking at the, or what was stated in the paper. But I'm looking at the citation right here that uh, Officer Pardun wrote. There is absolutely nothing in it that says that you had a minor with you. Nothing. That's correct. Right. And I'm just letting you know so you can feel confident that Officer Pardun, nor did Mr. Benson, cite you with OWI with a minor. Okay. Okay. Now, what else would you like for me to know? I want to know where we're supposed to go with this from here, because I'm on plea not guilty no matter what. That's totally fine. Okay. But again, that's a, the OWI is completely different for, for today's purposes. Today is what's called a refusal hearing okay. and why you refused to cooperate and to do the field sobriety and the PBT. Okay. Okay. All right. May I ask a question? I can't guarantee I can answer it. So the next time I come in, I should bring evidence of what I was. We'll talk about the next step okay. after we're All done right. here today. I have nothing more to say then, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Benson, questions? Thank you, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Ambelang, it's your testimony that you were on three heavy medications yes. on that date. And then you also testified that you were drinking alcohol while using those medications. I, but just a few and, and, and time before that, and yeah, you're right. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I've been in lockup for six weeks and I wanted to get out with my friends and have a couple of beers and I didn't so, find no fault in that. So, and when I proceeded home, I drove straight and narrow at the speed limit. 
I didn't go left or center. I didn't go right. I I, I drove perfectly. Uh, do any of those medications say that you can consume alcohol while you use them? It doesn't give me permission. It says it's not advised. Okay. Um, now, you, you told the officer that you weren't physically able to do the uh, field sobriety testing, correct? Physically? No, I didn't say okay. physically. I just said I won't pass it. Okay. Well, no, no, no. You, you said the field sobriety testing is what I'm talking about. So when he asked you to take the, the PBT test to uh, breathe into the little machine that he had, was there anything that physically prevented you from being able to do that? No. Okay. Um, when he brought you to the jail and asked you if he would submit to uh, give a, a chemical test of your breath, was there anything that physically would have prevented you from giving a sample of your breath? No. No further questions, Your Honor. Based on that, Mr. Ambling, do you have anything else that you want to add or say? Not to say, Your Honor. Thank you. Argument, Mr. Benson. Evidence is oh, evidence is closed. Thank you. Um, your Honor, um, we've established that this incident took place within the village of Siren. Uh, it's properly in its jurisdiction. Um, it was uncontroverted testimony that Officer Pardon read, uh, read the informing the accused form to Mr. Uh, Ambalang. And uh, that form tells us, among other things, that, that a person is deemed to have consented to a chemical test by being on a Wisconsin roadway. Uh, the, that the refusal to submit to that test shall result in license revocation. Um, he was also told he could have obtained an alternate test, not at that time, but, and that he could have additional tests at his or her own expense. He was physically able to provide a breath sample and refused to do so. There was probable cause to pull him over uh, because as the officer testified, uh, Mr. Ambalang ran a red light. Um, so his refusal was not reasonable under the circumstances, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Ambling. Yeah, I didn't know my license was being revoked. But where, where does it say that? That's what this hearing's about. It said six points or pay a fine. That's the OWI part. But the part is, is that's why I tried to tell you that this is a two-part matter. Okay. The fact that you refused the test okay. means that if you can't meet your burden of showing that you are under that exception, then the court must revoke your driver's license for, I believe it's for a period of one year or it's two years. I would have to look over because quite honestly, we have not had very many revocation hearings in the last mm -hmm. two years. Um, so that's what this hearing is for the court to determine whether or not you had a reasonable basis okay. to say, no, I can't, I'm not going to do those tests. Okay. And if you don't, the court revokes your driver's license. And then the next step is where we would set a status for you to have discussions with Mr. Benson to see if he can resolve the matter. And if not, we set it for a jury trial mm -hmm. um, or a court trial of your choosing um, for you to present your case to okay. be determined, you know, with determined if you are guilty or not guilty of the OWI offense. And this is a forfeiture. It's a ticket. It's not a crime in Wisconsin. OWI first is not a crime in Wisconsin. So this hearing is a very first hearing about, did you have a reasonable basis to refuse to okay. engage in those tests? I understand. Okay. Yes. All right. So anything else uh, you want to let me know or argument on your behalf, Mr. Ambling? No, I seem to be digging myself a hole in the ground here by doing that. So I'm going to just be silent and wait for the, whatever the next step is. Mr. Ambling, the law is, is very clear and it's clear for a reason. And quite honestly, Wisconsin is probably the only state. I'm not, I can't say the only state, but we're one of the very few states that have the OWI first as a forfeiture. And because of that, there are other um, safeguards built into the system. These are built into other states as well, but here in Wisconsin, and that would be um, the officer would first need to determine if there's probable cause in order to stop you and to determine if you have probable cause to believe that you are driving well impaired, okay, under the influence and driving in an impaired 
way. Um, here, we had Officer Pardon, who parks in the village of Siren, and um, it's usually by community bank-ish area. I mean, he's not hiding. It's right there. He's in the marked squad right at the light. Yes, I saw him. Yep. And then he witnessed and he saw that you didn't stop at the stop sign or a stoplight. <clears throat> and so that gives probable cause to pull you over to determine, okay, okay, there's a, a traffic offense. Mayor was committed. Okay. So he pulled you over and then he smelled an odor of intoxicants. All right. He smelled the odor. That alone doesn't provide the probable cause or reasonable suspicion, but then he asked other questions. And then after that, he has the, he has the, he doesn't have the right. He has the duty to read to you that entire document. It, he, he needs to say, okay, he has to do certain things. I, all right. I, I have reason to believe probable cause to believe that you were operating while impaired. And so now I want to do these other tests. And then you said, I, I won't pass those tests. I've been taking three very serious medications and I've had three to four beers within the period of whatever time, if you told him the time, whatever, but you, you admitted to drinking alcohol. Okay. And then you said, but I'm not going to pass the field sobriety test. I just know it because of these medications. And then he offered you to do the PBT and you again refused to do that. And the court has to determine whether or not that your refusal was reasonable. And you have the law right in front of you there, which, and I'll read it to you, that it says that whether the person refused to commit to the test, the person shall not be considered to have refused the test if it is shown by a preponderance of the evidence that the refusal was due to a physical inability to submit to the test due to physical disability or disease unrelated to the use of alcohol, controlled substances, controlled substance analogs, or other drugs. Prescription, non-prescription, all of the above, okay? And so you may have, you, you told him that, okay, I, I won't pass these field sobriety tests. Okay, then it goes on to the next step, the breath test, the, the PBT the preliminary breath test and you still refused to engage and to participate in that. And I have heard no information. I've heard no testimony that you can't blow into a machine that you have a disability or you have something that would inhibit your ability to perform that activity upon request. Okay. So I don't have the information here in front of me to say, okay, you meet this exception. Because the law says in the state of Wisconsin, with this, in the state of Wisconsin, you are submitting to and agreeing to abide by all of the traffic laws when you get your driver's license. That includes that the officer has certain criteria to take tests that you have to engage in those tests and you refuse to do so. And so by doing that, then the court has no other choice in a refusal hearing with the facts that I have in front of me. I find that your refusal was not reasonable. And so what the court has to do is because I have the information and the facts are not on your side here, and the refusal was not reasonable. It was improper. I have to revoke your operating privileges for one year. Right here on the spot. Right here on the spot. I have nothing I can do about this, Your Honor. I live by myself. What am I going to do, Your Honor? Yes. Um, I would, if he would be willing to just plead to the OWI, I would find his refusal reasonable under the circumstances and ask the court to do so. And then I believe he would probably get down to a six month violation. Okay. So, do you understand what the what uh, Mr. Benson is stating? No, I do not. What Mr. Benson is stating is he's like, you know what? I've heard all of this and I understand you're an 82 year old man. This is your first infraction. Um, you don't have a criminal history. You don't have driving infractions, all of those things. He's willing to tell the court or to ask the court to find that 
it is, it would be reasonable. Overlook all of this, find it's reasonable. If you plead to this OWI, which is a ticket, then he will forget that. And then the revocation for an OWI is six months. But once you do your o your OWI assessment and driver safety plan, you can get your occupational driver's license. And that can be a quicker process instead of the whole year revocation. Because I'm not even certain you can get an occupational with a refusal. But I'm not giving you legal advice and I'm not telling you. Mr. Benson, um, if the court were to stay on its decision here today and give you some opportunity to speak a little bit further with Mr. Ambling about the law and the fact that he admitted here today on the record, which can be used against him, that he took three serious heavy medications, which the law says anything in your system that would impair your driving would mean uh, that uh, it is uh, clear and convincing because it's not beyond a reasonable doubt. It's a lower level that you, that uh, Mr. Benson would have to prove a lower level that you operated while impaired or under the influence of a substance, which could include prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, illegal substances, or alcohol, or any combination of them all. So what I could do, if there's no objection, Mr. Benson, is stay my decision, give you some time to talk to Mr. Ambling, and we can see if this matter can be resolved. That would be fine, Your Honor. So now do you I understand? would like to talk to him, yes. Okay, Your Honor. So you, and you understand all of that? So then what I'm gonna Basically. do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay on my decision, not gonna decide right now. I'm gonna keep it on hold okay. to allow you guys the ability to talk. So that means I'm not revoking your driver's license. Okay, not at this time. So talk to Mr. Benson and then see if he can resolve it. How long do you want, Mr. Benson? Um, like a week. Would we just do a, a, we could do a phone hearing or a Zoom hearing or something? Yes, we could do that. Um, so this is not the one-on-one -on -one conversation with Mr. Benson. You're going to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation okay, yes. with him, okay. but then you're going to come back to court okay. and you're going to say, you know what, judge, we've resolved it. Okay. Or are you going to say we haven't, and this needs to go to trial. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, but at that time is when I'm going to have to make a decision as to today's hearing, but I can do January 29th at 10 15. Yes. I'll be in here later that morning, your honor. So what day of the week is that your honor? It's a Monday. Does, do Mondays work? Yes. Okay. okay. Monday, 10 15. You can call in. We can put the call in number. So you can call in so you don't have to drive or feel free to drive. doesn't matter to me. Whatever you want to do, I'm okay with. Um, and then you can show Mr. Benson that newspaper article and even Mr. Pardon. Not their fault. They did I nothing. I was pointing the finger at him. No, here, I know. Somebody, I'm just letting you know, though. It, but it's not the court's fault. It's not the officer's fault. It's not Mr. Benson's fault. If it says that, and I'm not doubting you that it does, we did not, nobody in this room or this building gave information to the to the paper that you had a minor with you, okay? That was just an incorrect printing. And what they should do now is probably correct it in their next print, okay? I know, you're like- Can newspapers be sued? That would be a question for an attorney. They can, but I can't give you any information on that or what okay. it takes to prove okay. it. Thank you. Okay? Um, so we'll see you on the 29th at 10.15. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> so, Mr. Benson, will I talk to you before that Monday? Or Why don't you call my office on Monday? Yeah. Before we come in? Yeah, this next Monday. Call him this call, next call Monday. This Monday. We're, we, we're here two Mondays from now. Oh, okay. So if you, if you call my office next week, then you and I can discuss Very it. good. Yeah,